is up guys welcome to a brand new video so the first thing to say very quickly is we are going to play a vein game but this might be going on both of my youtube channels so if if this is going on my main channel you might be a little bit confused because i have two channels so basically i have a uh gameplay channel and i also have is that like support yes it is i have a gameplay channel where i release two gameplays every day we're trying out new stuff in this the preseason, and we're just like trying to teach you have some fun at the same time and obviously I have my main channel as, uh, as well. So this will be going on my gameplay channel. This might be going on my main one because it's using a build that I was talking about the other day and that you said you wanted to see, which is 100% crit uh, essence reaver vein, I guess. So we'll go like the normal crit build, which is like Shiv, Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, and then we'll go into an essence reaver fourth, which is 100% crit. It's really, really strong. And also we get cooldown reduction from the essence reaver, which means that we can tumble all over the place and use the extra AD uh, there as well. So we'll go into the build a little bit as we go through the game. We're gonna have some fun with this We're going to hopefully do well. Nami Vein is like my favorite lane ever So hopefully that goes pretty well But yeah, just in case you guys see this twice if you are already subscribed to my second channel You'll see it twice in your sub box if you're subscribed to my main one as well uh, If you aren't subscribed to my second channel There'll be a link down below if this does go my main one and you can come over you definitely should if you want to see more of me playing the actual game, I guess, rather than just talking about it, then you definitely can do. But anyway, so this is going to be... Uh, by the way, Ruins of Our Series, actually, before we do anything else, are in the description. And I'm running um, 18.0.12 with Warlords. So this is something a bit different. Like, normally you go into Cunning, right? Uh, you go 18.12, you take Dangerous Game and stuff. There's a new kind of March page I'm testing out now, which is 18.0.12, which goes into the Resolve Tree. Basically, you're going to get uh, improved 8% increased life steal which is nice anyway and we'll also get um uh summon a spell cooldown so i will get my heal on my flash up quicker than jinx would for example unless she's running the same thing which is not so i'm gonna get my heal up uh, faster than her which i think is quite important on bane which is good anyway and i just it's just uh, like i guess a little bit of an adaptation that i like right now it's quite i think it's quite good Let's go tumble forward here and hit the Jinx because she's targeting the Nami. If, if the AD is uh, hitting your support, you can basically free hit them, which is why you don't t tend to want to focus on support because it just lets the enemy AD smack you for free. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that's like Runes Mastery's out of the way. Runes are just very standard attack speed, AP and stuff. Oh my god, I guess I should have healed that then. That was a lot more damage than I expected, but yeah... Uh, okay. Well, actually, the lane is actually in a good spot for me right now. Even though she just died and just got killed, the lane's in a good spot if um, Nami comes back now because we managed to get, like, these guys are pretty low. So if, if we now do anything here, uh, we should be able to fight, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I don't know if Jinx is actually going to go back to base. I Hopefully she isn't and we'll be able to abuse the fact that She's a little bit lower. She doesn't actually use a potion, so maybe not. Maybe we don't really get too much out of this at all, but who knows? I have an army. It's fine. I have a big wave to catch as well. She's only actually four CS ahead of me, and look how many minions I have to CS as well. So I'm actually going to get like more CS out of this, which is somewhat equal to that kill. Not ideally, but you know, it's not too bad either. Yo, Maokai, uh, he's actually going to go for that, I think. Which is like fine and everything, but at the same time, not really because... Uh, She's going to flash the wall there. Oh my god, is that actually going to go for that? Okay. Oh my god, I think the Jinx actually flashed the wrong way there. Pretty sure she flashed the wrong way. Oh, Maokai Sapling trolled me and stole the kill. GG. GG. Well, at least we got that right. Pretty sure Jinx flashed back into us right there. I don't know what this is. This is Flex Q. This is ranked, but Flex Q... Matchmaking is absolutely busted. I am on my old unranked diamond account, which at the moment was about plat three in solo rating. So I think these guys are going to be like low gold and plat. I have no real idea. Who knows? This is going to be bronze. I've had bronze five in my games on this. So who actually knows? But yeah, anyway, so uh, just talking about the build a little bit more, like why you'd ever get an essence reaver anyway, I guess. Because a lot of like vein right now and why she's so overpowered is because of her tumble. Um, this is why I'm going to max it first as well. Uh, but basically, like... Uh, if we can kill her now, by the way, this game, this lane is basically done. If we kill her, I don't think we are going to be able to kill her. But if we did, because she'd miss this much CS, it'd basically be done, though. Um, yeah, so, like, 
she got two different buffs, I think, with... Actually, I really need 200 gold. Um, she got two different buffs. Well, three, technically, I guess. She got the AD increased on her Q later rank. She got uh, the fact that it can be used on towers. And also that if your auto crits, then your tumble will crit as well. So those three all mean that your tumble does, a, does way more damage. This is why you want to stack so much crit as well. So actually, once we get to 100% crit with Essence Reaver, we get the extra AD from Essence Reaver, which improves our crits anyway. We get the... Um, we obviously get the 100% crit, we get the extra 20% crit, which is really good. Uh, we get the extra AD, we get the cooldown reduction, which means we can use our tumble more. And because we're going to be critting, the tumble damage is going to be critting as well. So that's even more damage output. The downside to it is we don't get lifesteal properly in that build until like 5th item. And we don't really have room for lifesteal and also for arm and pen. Last Whisper is not that bad on crit vein because you're like... A lot of your damage... Oh, I've tumbled the wrong way. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't flash the right, wrong way, right? Um, yeah, because a lot of your damage actually from crits. And crits obviously AD damage. So it you do actually want to last whisper really ideally this build. Who knows though. So I have a load of gold now. I can get my BF sword. I really would like to go back and actually purchase it. Uh, Jinx has only got a vamp scepter. What is this? Must be bronze, man. Who buys a vamp scepter first on Jinx? What is going on? What is going on? I mean, like, yeah, I just don't understand that anymore. Like, it doesn't even have that much AD on it. 15 AD and 10% lifesteal. 10% lifesteal isn't even that good in the lane phase because you don't have, you don't, autos don't do that much damage anyway yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, any, so with the build and stuff, you can actually go Essence Reaver third. You only have one attack speed item with that and it feels super clunky on Vayne in my opinion. But you can do it if you wanted to. You get the, uh... Yeah, you'll get 70% crit, I think, and your Q will still really hurt. So what, by the way, I'm actually kind of worried now because um, they've, oh bollocks, oh bollocks, missed both. They've just randomly stopped pushing here. And they were pushing it really, really heavily into me and all of a sudden they just stopped. Like they just stopped pushing entirely. And normally that means that someone else is here to gank me. Like why in the world would you just be pushing hardcore the entire lane phase and then stop? It doesn't make any sense. It makes absolutely zero sense for them to just stop like that. So that's why I kind of thought, okay, we might be getting ganked. Actually, we're not. We're actually not. Like, Maokai and Lee Sin at top. Oh, that guy's really low. That's unfortunate. Fizz is super broken right now. He's so strong. He is so, 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 so strong. I'm going to do a, a Fizz video soon because there's actually a different way to play him than this, which is really, really good. And I kind of want to show that off, so... Hopefully Annie manages to contain that guy because she even had more items I believe unless she bought I have no idea But who knows? Uh, yeah, so vein matchup Into the jinx basically. Oh sugar don't okay. Thank God uh, She missed that that this matchup. I think she was just trying to freeze this, you know I feel like jinx decided she was gonna freeze it, but it's a really weird Really weird to freeze it. Okay. Now she's gonna break her friend freeze. What are you doing jinx? Yeah, um, so this matchup is actually fine. Like, Jinx can outrange you with her rockets. And if she crits a lot, she will ruin you. But if you get on top of her, like, there isn't really much she can do. Like, you just go in with your shiv and with your ultimate. And there really isn't much that, uh, yeah, there really isn't much that Jinx is able to do. So, <laughs> so it really depends on how you play it. If, if you're too passive and you sit back and let her push you into tower and just rocket form you, then you're probably going to die. If uh, you don't and you just like go aggressive and you fight her, you're probably going to win. That's really the way that it's going to go more than anything else, I guess. Here we are, 6 now, which is nice though. They're like Wombo at 6 with the Lux. If they do basically what they did like level 2, you know, where they caught the Nami and I didn't bother healing her. Because I'm a scumbag. Like if they do that again, that's probably going to actually go really badly. And he's actually here as well. I'm going for this. Lux because uh once she was next to the wall there we go nice perfect 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 so she was next to the wall and I could get a condemn and I saw Annie coming down the river that's why I immediately went for that really ham and I knew that like they can't really turn that around on me as I said that's literally knowing the matchup because obviously Jinx can't do anything when you charge in on her like that she'd already put a re down I already knew that was gonna happen and, like, there's nothing else they really have. Bind was down from Lux because she'd already tried to use it. All of their all of their abilities were on cooldown. So that's why I went so ham. And it actually it managed to pay off. I didn't think we'd get the Jinx, but I knew I could get the Lux from that. And the Nami, she actually flashed into the Nami wave, unfortunately. So 
Unlucky. And I'm pushing that in, by the way, so the luck, uh, so the Jinx misses this CS. Because I don't think I needed to come here necessarily to help them with the dragon. Even though, actually, Maokai didn't really get much damage, I guess, early. But, um, yeah, so uh, I went just to punish the Jinx, basically. Now we're super strong, though. We are super strong. Nice, nice, nice. This is good. Uh, so we're going to go for Shiv here. One of the reasons you go for Shiv over Rapid Fire or, like, uh, runes, for example. Runes on Vayne's actually re really good still. Uh, like, the three bolts were all going to play a Warlord's passive, so you actually, like, life steal for a ton. You do it doesn't mess up with your W. Your W still only applies on the main target, but, like, you heal for so much with the runes, and you crit all three targets as well. So it's actually really good. It's a good substitute for the Phantom Dancer, maybe, but Shiv is so good with your Q because, basically, if your Q crits, right, if you have 100% crit, for example, or just if one of them actually crits, um... You would get an auto attack that could crit. Just off a Q, by the way. Just one Q. You have the auto attack part that would crit. You'd have the increased damage part from your tumble that would crit. And you have the shiv as well that would crit. Because shiv damage, like the chain damage, the area damage bit, that actually uh, can critically strike if your auto attack does, I think it is. I'm not sure if it's independent, actually. Either way, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, but yeah, it actually can. Oh, no. If he ults me, I'm really in trouble here. Okay, maybe not. No. Uh, yeah, maybe not actually. Oh, thank you for that. Alright, I'll take that healing. Plants OP, boys. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking plants, man. What a gimmick. One absolute gimmick. One absolute gimmick, dude. Oh no, I thought Maokai was tanking that, but he pussied out. Oom, you just had to tank the tower, my friend. You just had to tank the tower. But it's okay, I got a kill. I got a shutdown, though. Uh, I gave a shutdown to Maokai, which is not a good thing. But, never mind. We did get the kill anyway, which is fine. But yeah, so basically, like, the shiv over the rapid fire. Rapid fire, auto damage. Like, you know this part, right? The passive shiv. Why am I pointing to the screen? You can't see that. The shiv lightning part, right? That actually um, can crit on, shi on shiv. Oops. Um, but on rapid fire cannon, the increased damage, like the range increase and stuff, that can't crit. So when you're building full crit, shiv is actually better than rapid fire cannon, in, in my opinion. Because it's a, a lot of extra damage. Don't take my tower, please. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to ping my summoners and stuff. Obviously, using my summoners before is better as well with these masteries because I get them up sooner, which is nice. Not like a ton sooner, but a little bit sooner. Okay, I just dodged into that. But that is uh, Lux's ultimate cooldown, which is nice. Um, and then I guess we get the... Oh, did she already get it? All right. So we have that. We have flash in like 15 seconds. I might as well, before I go aggressive or anything like that, might as well wait for my flash cooldown, right? No point uh, necessarily going to ham when I don't have my flash. Because I might have to flash like the Lux Binding, for example, here. Also, actually, like going for the, the Fizz there and getting the kill was kind of good. But it also wasn't great because the way you, like, you punish when you're ahead is you take advantages where the enemy doesn't get one. Um, but that, for example, like, I got a kill, I got gold, but Fizz got a kill as well. So, oh man, the rest of my map is losing pretty hard, though. Uh, so, like, that's actually not a good thing because I'm giving gold to Fizz, even though I am technically stronger. So, I, I should really be extending my lead, not, like, going even, right? That's the general idea, anyway. I'm gonna stop pushing now, though, because... Which is kind of hard with Shift because it naturally pushes anyway. But I kind of want to stop pushing this so that we can fight. Because I, I think we should fight now. Like, if the rest of the team is losing quite hard, like, we really should, um, really should try and fight at least. Most likely what they're going to do is just sit under tower now. Because they can't really, like, win a fight, so there's no reason for them to necessarily come too far up. Because they could just die, right? But, yeah, Shiv actually naturally just pushes the lane because of the, uh, chain part. So that's not really too cool, but never mind. That's like, I'm going to have to deal with that, right? I'm going to have to deal with that. She actually, I think that drink's actually based. She's back now. What does she get? So she has a vamp, but she has a BF and the zeal as well. Pretty sure they know. Oh, man. Lee Sin is coming down a little bit. 
Yeah, so there's they must know. Pretty sure that's warded. I don't know though. He walked through that, so I assume that that just means that it's warded. And he needs to definitely. Lee Sin is doing like a lot of work, I think, but we just need to not bleed towers for the rest of the map too much. Because as long as like we get to late game, I'm vain, right? I can hopefully be able to carry. Jinx is going to be a bit of a problem. The thing is now though, what they're likely going to do is come bot lane. Um, oh no, well Nexon's there, but I don't know where the others are. Nice. That's good at least, we'll get that kill. That's Jinx all down as well, and Dragon's in 30 seconds. Yeah, we should really fight these guys. I want to fight here because I think I need to start abusing my advantage. I'm really fed in comparison to the rest of them. Oh, really? That hit me? Are you serious, though? I don't believe that. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it, boys. Oh, my word. No, the bind. The bind. I'm still fast because of the Nami. Holy, there we go. That's the Shiv and the crit coming in there. Oh, that's a lot of damage. This was really, 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 really aggressive. And the only reason I made that play more than anything else is because I feel like we're behind and I need to. If I don't make plays like this, I think we're going to lose. That's why I'm being so aggressive now. That's why I'm being so aggressive. I want to know where Fizz is. Okay, Fizz is here. I'm not going to go for that, I don't think, too much. Oh my god, see that damage? And it's up again already. Because of my Q is such a low uh, cooldown, it's 2 seconds, rank 5. Alright, let's go take Dragon. Because it's 2 seconds now, rank 5. Like, I have no cooldown reduction, but 2 seconds on a tumble is absolutely ridiculous. It's so much damage. When I get some more crit as well, it's really going to add up. And remember on Vayne, you always want to tumble into a wall, right? Always stand next to a wall where you're doing Dragon, or just anything in general, really. You auto attack, you then Q, it auto resets. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's not really fight, to be honest. Okay, that's not good, though. I'm, I'm really afraid of the Fizz more than anything here. And the fact that Annie has no mana. He comes in for that. I'm just gonna... Oh, we flash him into our team, though. That's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, I'm gonna go back mid, I guess. I have no idea. Okay, we need... 300 gold for Infinity Edge, which is nice. The only problem with this build, really, the 100% crit build, is like, it's really good. But at the same time, uh, it's four items. Four items into the game is like normally really late game. You don't always get to that point. But the good thing about this is that you can just go the normal crit build that I think is pretty overpowered anyway. And then you, uh, then you transition into Essence Reaver after. So it's not even like you're building specifically for 100% crit. You're building the normal crit build, which is just three items of crit anyway. And then you're like, okay, I think that I'm fed enough, you know, I'm fed enough for the 100% crit. Like, I don't need lifesteal that much. I don't need arm pen. I can stay safe. I don't need Mercurial Scimitar or something like that. So what I can do instead is I can go for 100% crit. That's kind of how this build works more than anything. It's not one of those things that you have to specifically build for every single game. It's just one that... You can decide, okay, yeah, I want to build for this, you know, like one game. While you're actually in it. Now, this is I'm a bit worried about. Where, what happens if the Fizz is, fish is here? Yo, Maokai, you turd! Oh, boy. Alright, let's get this. That was kind of unfortunate. I don't have a lot of two boots, though, so I'm. it's really difficult for me to actually go in here. Um, Fizz is here, by the way. I really don't want to do this. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do this. I do a lot of damage, but only if I can... Oh, Nami, no! Oh, fuck, he brought him right into me. Nami, why? Okay, we went two for two. That's okay. No, wait, one for two. That's not cool. Oh, man. I, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. Why? I stopped here. And I lost a vision of Renekton for just a second and it messed up my attack move, which made me turn around, which is not cool. But need boots, need boots too to attack move a little bit more. And I just need a front line. Like Nami flashing behind me kind of screwed up because what I really need is someone to be there to tank the damage for me. And then I can go in and like freely hit people, right? Um, so because she like, I don't really blame her for flashing because obviously I actually don't want to die, right? 
But at the same time, that's like Vayne's worst nightmare is being on the front line. So I think we're still good this game. We still should be fine. Annie is doing pretty well. She has an Abyssal. I can stay away from the Fizz and I should be okay. Um, the Renekton, I think, is going for this build that we talked about in one of my videos. It was the uh, Black Cleaver, Titanic Hydra, then like Locket and stuff like that. Basically, uh, it goes with the Courage of the Colossus, which is just an overpowered mastery at the moment. So hopefully we should be able to deal with that because it's more of a tank build, which is good. But at the same time, I should be able to deal with that, I think. Especially once I get my Phantom Dancer, I'll be fine. Um, I should be able to deal with pretty much anybody, I think. Fizz is still going to be really bad for me because he has a Abyssal. And like, oh, I really want to... See, this is annoying me, right? I want to go and take Krugs now, but I can't really because it will just take me forever. Like, it's not worth a time investment at all because there's so many little ones. There's so many little ones now. It's just really annoying to take it. But I can't push any further than that. If I push now, I'm probably going to die. So it's not worth not worth even though i can very very easily kill this jinx now not worth going that far and just dying at least shiv actually kind of helps with these i didn't really think about that before but oh boy that's this is really risky now because like jinx is going to come here as well uh yeah jinx is already there actually I'm going to push bot lane and hope they don't die. This is probably a bad idea, though, because in my head, I'm like, okay, they're going to kill themselves, aren't they? And I'm already pretty sure they're going to do it. But I just greeted for the extra wave, I guess. If I keep pinging, though, it might help. I do have a 1,000 gold. That's the boots, too, which would be nice. Hopefully, what happens is the enemy team engage. Oh, no, that was a really bad run play as well. Just leave, just leave, just leave. Oh, boy. I, the thing is, as well, they didn't even burn any cooldowns for that. Like, nobody burnt... Oh, no. That's not good. Nobody burnt anything for that. Okay, that's cool, though. I can get that. And then maybe I can go in. There's no real crowd control left too much. Just running away, by the way, here. Because I don't want to get stunned by uh, Renekton into a Fizz ult. If I get stunned there, I think the Fizz, the Sands, are guaranteed ult on me. And it's not fun, so... What I could do, actually, is flash on this Fizz. Ah, oh, I was really tempted there. If I flash Q and if I crit, it would have been guaranteed kill. But I only have 50% crit. It's like a 50-50 to maybe do well, maybe get screwed. All right, that's enough for me personally. I think I've had enough of that. If that killed me, that luck so I would have raged because I wasn't looking. I was not looking at that at all. If that killed me, I would have raged. Definitely would have raged. Okay, cool. So um, the 100% crit build this game is like... If I was in a serious game on like, you know, in my main account, high diamond or whatever, I probably wouldn't do it because it's really risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. Like the reason it's risky and the reason I say like I'm, I'm not sure is because there's so much damage flying around right now, like Fizz and Jinx rockets. Like if Jinx attacks someone close to me, you know, I'm going to get um, just a rocket smacked right in the face, like from the Runins and it's going to damage me and I need some life steal to really heal that back up. I have Warlords, but it's not really enough. So I would actually Okay, that was good. Good for us because now we get a free infernal. Perfect. Um so yeah, I I don't know if I'd actually do it. It is a ton of damage though. It is a ton of damage. So it would it would be good from that perspective, and I would absolutely melt anybody on this team. I'm not gonna go for the kill onto Annie. Kind of sucks because I think she's worth a shutdown, but at the same time we get a free infernal for that, so not that bad. Oh my god. There's one crit though. This is where the crits are really starting to come in now. It's gonna flash the Lux Binding. Don't know if I needed to do that. Okay, that's really annoying then. So there we go. We managed to get uh, some kills there. We're not even at our three item spike yet either. Three item spike, like how we actually. This build really comes online once you have. Just waiting for that. Yeah, waiting for the shark. I did not want any part of that. Once you have PD and also, um, I'm not going to go anywhere near this, I don't think anymore. Once you get PD and also like after these two, that's when the build really should start to do some work. We're not even at that point yet. And we're already doing pretty decently. That's just, this is why this build is so stupid. If you max your Q, you do damage way too early, like way too much damage too early. 
It's just ridiculous. This build is overpowered. I made a video on my main account. Like, if I put this on my main channel, then you know, but already. I made a video about this, which is just stupid. It's way, 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 way too much damage. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Okay, I actually missed my auto cancel there. What you should do is you should auto into Q to cancel it. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. Whoa. No, 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 no. That's not good. I actually don't want to do this. I have 3,000 gold. It's not worth. Oh, and he's behind them, though. She might actually get wrecked by this. Or not. Tib is OP. Okay. Annie OP. <laughs> Damn, dude. She is fed. She is definitely fed. I hope they don't surrender because I wanna I really want to get my essence reaver as well. Um get the Phantom Dancer here, I think. I mean I could just get like a Essence Reaver. I think I can afford it, right? It's 3-2, I believe. 3-6. Wow, it's the same price as Infinity Edge. Holy crap, that's a lot of gold. Alright, so we'll just get the the PD. I still think this is probably the best way of doing it. Um and actually what you can do is you can just go into, I believe, this here. So you can actually do this. This is kind of cheating, really. I'm going to turn this critical look into uh, Essence Reaver, so that's fine. But w the, one of the tricks you can do anyway is you're going to put a critical look. If you're going to do this build, get the critical look first. And you go to 100% um, crit straight away. So in my opinion, normally you'd go for the AD, right? 100%. But in this case, because it's the last little bit you need, for the, the crit, I think actually it might be worth it. Like, if I just attack this now, I'm still doing 250 damage to all of these around. The crits won't be a ton at the moment because I've only got one AD item uh, behind a crit. So, it does obviously a lot of damage just because it's like one showing them, obviously. But, uh, it's not... Yeah. It's not doing as much as it could do because I have no AD behind the crit at the moment. It's literally just my... Like, two attack speed items, right? Two attack speed items, one AD item. Um, I'm just trying to like... Alright, I guess we'll go for this one. I'm trying to be careful because they still have a lot of damage. I don't know where Fizz is either. Oh, that's a Fizzle. That, I thought that, forgot that thing was so huge, man. I made that joke once. I'm going in, I think. There we go. Look at that damage. Holy, two hits. He's already through Steric Shield and over half health. Look how much damage that. Plus, remember, your ultimate actually gives you AD here. So that was like a zoning ult more than anything. We should just go and take Baron, I think. I think going and taking Baron here would be a good idea. Like, it's pretty much free because of mid-in hip now. And if they come to stop us, we turn and fight. But yeah, it, it's so much damage. Remember, your ultimate rank 2 even just gives you 50 bonus AD. That is a lot of bonus AD to get behind. Like, obviously, Infinity Edge gives you... Okay, this might actually be a mistake now. Because Lee Sin could steal this. We're going to do it and put faith in the Maokai. I oh, sugar, that's actually a Fizz right below me. Yeah, yeah, I thought that might be a mistake. but all right. I'm going to go for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. That was a mistake, but never mind. There was a lot of damage flying around, so it's not too surprising that he missed it, I don't think. But I feel like we should just cut our losses now and be like, okay, we lost it. It's fine. Don't worry. Let's just regroup. Uh, in a way, for this video, it's not as bad because it means I might actually finish my Essence Reaver. Because <laughs> this has put a tick on the game a little bit. Added on like two minutes, maybe. We have to wait for Baron, really. Can't really push against Baron because the minions take so long to kill. So, um, yeah. I can just farm for Essence Reaver now, I guess. 1500 gold. Like, we can't really do anything while Baron is up. I don't think it's going to lose the game, but it just... It, we didn't need Baron to necessarily end it, but they needed Baron to stall it, right? That's the problem, because we gave them a way to stall the game. Titanic Hydra is easier at Riven. Now, that is something I have not seen before. That is something I have not seen before. Okay. Oh, boy, that's not good as well, actually. Let's get the crab. So, one thing with crab is it's like a minute and a half, right? Um, I think it's a minute, a minute and a half. And it means that, like, if they're going to try and do Dragon now, we're at least going to be able to see it. Not that we'll be able to do anything with it, obviously, but, like, we'll be at least to be able to see it. Okay, he's definitely over there then. Yeah, Rexon's there. Uh, he knows I'm here, by the way, because there's a ward right there. So I'm, like, not too keen on going in now. 
I know they just got two kills and stuff, which is great, but... Yeah, I'm still very nervous about uh, dying just to fizzle or something. Being a bit too pissy here. I'm gonna go in now. Holy shit, is that damage? Alright, I just got wrecked, but that's worth it, man. That's worth it. Look how much damage we do. It's crazy. This build is ridiculous. Alright, now we're on... Um... Holy, that, that build is ridiculous as well. He's going for the build that I said on my channel. It's the one that I think Solar Rex and Oni is doing as well. Um, but, yeah. That's actually, like... Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Okay, so... Last item, now we can go for Last Whisper, but they don't really have any armor yet, so I think that's pointless. We can go for Bloodthirster, which would increase, because it's like, um, a lot of AD, plus 20% lifesteal. 20% lifesteal is really good, because with, a, like, a thousand damage crit, for example, right? Um, 20% would be a 200 heal, roughly, right? Whereas, uh, because it's 20%, but, like, the Mercurial is only 10%, for example, and so that would only be 100 heal. So, like, 100 difference per hit of heal is actually quite a lot, right? It adds up to be quite a lot. That's why Bloodthirster is so good with the crit build, because, like, with big crits, you actually want a really high percentage on the lifesteal. Mercurial would be good, though. Uh, it would protect me against the Fizz a little bit. Um, it would let me cleanse this. It would let me cleanse a bind. Um, so, I think we'll go for Mercurial. I think it might be a good idea. Let's see what we can get out of this now. Um, that was a lot of damage, but I want to use my ult and tumble really on someone right now and see what we can do. I'm going to kind of flank here, I believe. Um, I'm a little bit worried about where the... Uh, I'm a little bit worried about... Okay, that is actually pretty disgusting, considering he's a tank. I'm pretty worried about where the Fizz is. That's what I was trying to say the entire time, is I don't know where Fizz is right now. And I don't really want to find out the hard way. But I do just want to go and one-shot this Jinx. Well, I'm not going to one-shot her, but you know what I mean, right? I do just want to go and kill this Jinx. Big time. Oh, that might be it. Okay, I'm going to go him now. Holy, that damage, though. Alright, that's pretty ridiculous. No! I flashed into a freaking bind, man! Oh, I got my heal, though. Oh, man, that's unlucky. We almost actually just, like, completely crucified that Jinx, so we'll just... Oh. Ara tumble, by the way. What's that cooldown now? 1.4 second tumble. 1.4 second tumble. Holy moly. That is ridiculous. This is why this build is actually legit, by the way. Essence Reaver Vein, I think, is uh, something quite decent, but it's very situational. It's very glass cannon as well. Okay, that's nice, though. It's very, very glass cannon. Um, you don't really have any defensive items or anything like that. I'm just going to shut up and kill people, I think. Oh, she has like two health, man. I'm going to use my ult here. Whoa, that was over half his health, though. I'm pretty dead now. Yeah, I don't really mind. I'm having fun with this build now. This is really showing off why the build is so good, though. So... <laughs> Everybody flashed away and left him. <laughs> oh, RIP. RIP. Okay, so what do we get next? So that's the question. Uh, Mercurial would help with stuff like that, right? We'd be able to get... Um, we would be able to deal with stuff, I guess. We could get this and we could also get this. That's probably a good idea. Uh, so Elixir of Wrath is something I said in the video that... I think once you get these four items, you really do need an Elixir of Wrath because it just gives you so much healing. Uh, it's... Oh, what is it? Um, yeah, so it's like 15%, which is pretty decent. Warlords is up to 20% low health anyway, but 15% is not bad. That's like almost a Bloodthirster's worth. Gets 30 AD as well, so bigger crits, which would be nice. Um, but, nice, good job. Uh, so at least there's that, which is cool. But yeah, I think this is kind of like almost mandatory a little bit once you get... Oh my god, did he just soloed by a Tibbers? Nice, okay. Almost mandatory. I think... Honestly, we could just run down mid now and end the game. Um, I'm gonna go and get red buff and then I'm good. Holy, 1500 crit now. That was a 1500 crit and I don't even have my last item either. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think it's actually kind of necessary because you definitely need... Oh, okay, this rendered. You definitely need some kind of, like, healing, which is, which is really good. Um, and you don't really get it with this build, unfortunately, too much. 
Well, let's go and have a look. One thing we do on my second channel, I'm actually gonna upload this to both. I think it was a really good example of what the build is about. But um, yeah, we're going to go with S minus on Vayner. Oh, that's pretty nice. So there was our score. Uh, we did 17, 4, 11. We got semi-decent farm, I guess. Probably needed more farm to be honest, and not four deaths to not get uh, to get like better than S minus. But there we go. So I actually did more than a fed Annie who does AOE damage. That's not really normal. That's not normal. Vayne is normally one of these champions who's really good, will carry team fights, but won't top the damage charts because single target damage. But apparently not because that's pretty uh, pretty crazy with this build. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a really good example of why crit vein i think like 100 percent crit vein is actually a legit thing and why it's actually pretty good um it is a lot of fun sadly we didn't get too many late game team fights because they surrendered but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway and uh, yeah i'll catch you in uh well on my main channel i'm gonna release another video tonight a proper video i believe hopefully and yeah on my second channel i'll catch you in the same gameplay so uh make sure well hopefully you guys watch both of all of them but yeah i'll catch you in the next video